After 17 years of ownership, the Glazer family are looking to sell Manchester United. Their reign has seen the club drop from being England's most successful club to being just another club. Many fans are excited to see what comes in the future, but there won't be many backwards glances towards the Glazer family. The Glazers have not been buying players like they should have been. We need to compete. We need to step forward as a club. The Glazers selling Manchester United is certainly something that many Manchester United fans have yearned for. Uh, well, actually, since May 2005, when uh, the Glazers first bought the club. There was suspicion from the start, suspicion well-founded that the, that the Glazers would take money out of the club for their own ends and uh, as a result of that, the club would decline. And that's what's come to pass for the Glazer family. It's been a huge success. They've been able to pull huge dividends out of the club, never paid off a huge amount of the debt. It's been something of a free bet that's been really successful for them. Any of the successes they had uh, in the early years of their reign will be put down rightly to the genius of Sir Alex Ferguson and the failures that followed Sir Alex stepping down in 2013. Well. The Glazers have to take the blame for that. The appointment of Alex Ferguson's initial successor, well, Alex Ferguson stood up, took responsibility for that. But beyond David Moyes, they were the owners who appointed the manager. OK, they had in Ed Woodward their rather grandly titled executive vice chairman. He ran the show, but he ran the show pretty much on their say so. The word always from Manchester United has been that any big decisions were made by chiefly Joel Glazer, who uh, essentially is the chief figure in the family uh, once Malcolm Glazer uh, passed away a few years ago. If you visited Old Trafford in 2005 and you went to Old Trafford in 2022, you wouldn't notice that much of a difference. I think in the corner of the stands, the quadrants were filled in, as you would call it. But beyond that, there's been very little development. I've sat in the press box at Old Trafford and seen a, a roof leaking and the seats are pretty much the same. There's been very little investment into infrastructure. And if you compare that to, say, the Tottenham Stadium, Anfield, which has had a redevelopment across town, Manchester City, it's an out of date stadium. It's not a pretty place to visit. It relies on the legacy of what went on in the past back in, under Sir Matt Busby, under Sir Alex Ferguson. You could say that it, it keeps with tradition, but actually this is modern football. Fans expect a bit more. And when the football has been pretty drab and the owners are taking money out of the club and you look around and you see uh, a place that's not being looked after, well, that's not much of a legacy, is it?